Okay, section 8.3, we're gonna talk about negative and zero exponents. Okay, so let's look at a couple uh, properties here. So whenever you have something raised to the zero power, it always equals one. So x to the zero equals one. And whenever you raise something to a negative exponent, what that negative exponent tells you to do is to take the reciprocal. So essentially what happens is, you can think of anything as being over one, and what you do is you take that quantity, you move it to the other side of the fraction bar, and you make it a positive exponent. Now, if this was down here in the denominator and it was a negative exponent, I would actually move it to the numerator and make it a positive exponent. Don't make the mistake, a lot of times students see this negative here, but if the exponent is negative, it doesn't make the number negative, it just indicates that we're gonna take the reciprocal of that quantity. So let's look at some examples. So what do you think for this one here? 3x, y squared, all raised to the zero. Well, this whole thing is raised to the zero, so that means it equals one. So that was pretty easy, right? Okay, now this one over here, negative five to the negative third power, right? Well, let's see, so this negative right here actually tells us that this is gonna be one over negative five to the positive three. So notice all I did was I moved this to the other side of the fraction bar, that's like taking the reciprocal, and I changed this from negative three to positive three. Now you can simplify from there, a negative five times a negative five times a negative five, see three times, is a negative 125. So this is gonna equal negative 1 125th. And it doesn't matter whether you put the negative in the numerator, the denominator, or off to the side, but the whole thing is negative. Now for this last one, 1 divided by x to the negative 4, remember this little negative right here, this negative exponent, tells us to take that quantity, move it to the other side of the fraction bar. So that's going to be x to the positive 4 now. So once we take the reciprocal, we change that negative to a positive. And you can think of this as over 1, but really anything divided by 1 is just itself. So let's get into some more challenging examples. See if you can do these on your own and we'll go through them uh, like we normally do. So say for number one, we've got five to the negative two. What do you think for that one? Well, again, you can always put something over one if you wanna make it into a fraction because anything divided by one is itself. Remember this negative exponent right here tells us to take this whole quantity, move it to the other side of the fraction bar and then make it a positive exponent. Five squared is five times five, which is 25. So this is one twenty-fifth. Okay, let's look at number two now. So we've got two divided by seven, all to the zero power, what do you think that equals? One, right? Remember, anything to the zero power is one. Now you might be wondering, Mario, you know, why, why does it equal one? Well, say for example, if you had x squared divided by x squared. Remember from the previous lesson we talked about uh, dividing with exponents? When you have the same base and you divide, what do you do? You subtract, right? So that's two minus two, which is zero. Okay, and we know that anything to zero power is one, but why does it equal one? Well, you can see that x squared divided by x squared, if you have the same quantity divided by itself, this goes in there one time. So do you understand? So basically anything to the zero is one. Now for this one, when you have a negative exponent, we're gonna move this whole quantity, this whole quantity to the, to the other side of the fraction bar, make it from a negative three to a positive three. You can think of this as being over one, if you want, four times four times four is 64 divided by one, which is just 64. Okay, number four. Want to learn Algebra 1? Check out my Learn Algebra 1 video course for sale where we go through 87 video lessons that take you step by step by step through Algebra 1. We talk about the important concepts, formulas, and we go through numerous example problems together to help you learn Algebra 1. Click the interactive card or the link in the description below to take you over there to get started with some of the free lessons. In the meantime, let's continue on with this video. 64. Okay, number four. You see this negative exponent? Remember how we said the negative exponent takes the reciprocal? So we could think of this as five times five over two to the positive one. Anything to the first power is itself. Then all we have to do is think of this five as like five over one, because anything divided by one is itself. Multiply the numerators and denominators together and we get 25 over two. So that negative tells you to take the reciprocal, flip it over. Okay, for number five, this one's a little bit challenging. Zero to the negative three. See, zero is really like zero over one. Anything divided by one is itself. So you can always write it as a fraction by putting it over one. The negative tells us what? Flip it over. Okay, take the reciprocal, one over zero, to the positive three now. Well, let's see, we're gonna distribute. One cubed is one times one times one. Zero cubed is zero times zero times zero. What's one divided by zero? Ah, undefined, we can't divide by zero. If zero's in the numerator, zero over seven, that's zero. But if you have one over zero or 10 over zero or anything where zero's in the denominator, that's undefined. So I'm gonna just put 
the undefined symbol here, or you can write the word undefined. Okay, let's go to number six up here, x squared times y to the negative fifth. Now remember, I know these are multiplied together because they're right next to each other with nothing in between. You can think of this as a fraction by putting it over one, and remember that negative tells us to do what? Move it to the other side of the fraction bar. It tells us to take the reciprocal. Now I'm not moving the x squared to the denominator. This has a positive exponent. I'm just moving the y to the denominator and I'm raising it to the positive five power now, okay? So remember, when you see that negative exponent, you take the reciprocal, or you can think of it as moving it to the other side of the fraction bar, either if it's in the bottom, you move it to the top, or the top, you move it to the bottom. Then you switch it to a positive exponent. Let's look at number seven. So following that same pattern, see here's two, here's x to the fourth. What do we do with that y to the negative three? We take the reciprocal, which moves it up to the numerator. Okay, and you've got it. Number eight, Let's see, so now this one's a little bit different. Let's try this one. So this is to the first power, because anything to, you know, just act by itself, that's to the first power. 15 divided by three is five. When you divide, you subtract. So negative two minus one is x to the negative third. Five minus negative two, see the two y's I'm uh, working with here. Five minus negative two is y to the seventh, because when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. And you can think of this as being over one, but you see this negative three? It's just affecting the base here, just x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that to the other side of the fraction bar, and I'm gonna write it as a positive exponent. And you got it. So let's look at the last example here, see if you can get this one. So this one, what I'm gonna do is, let's see, what's gonna be the best way to do this? I'm gonna take the negative two and I'm gonna distribute it like that, okay? So this is gonna be uh, two to the negative two, Negative three times negative two is x to the sixth. Now remember, power to power we're multiplying. And two times negative two is y to the negative fourth. And then the denominator we have four x to the first, y to the fifth. Okay, so now let's do this. See the x's? Those are being divided. See the y's? Those are being divided. So six minus one gives us x to the fifth, because when you divide, you subtract. Negative four minus five gives us y to the negative nine. This two to the negative two, I'm just gonna move this to the denominator because see the negative exponent. So that's gonna be four times two to the positive two. And if we simplify a little bit further here, you can see that uh, this negative nine, we can bring that to the denominator because the negative exponent tells us to take the reciprocal. So that's gonna be x to the fifth. Two squared is four times four is 16. And then we're bringing down that y, y to the positive nine. Remember when you switch Whenever you switch sides of that fraction bar, that exponent changes signs from negative to positive or positive to negative whenever you move it. So great job. We talked about negative exponents and raising something to the zero power. I'll see you in the next lesson.